Okay, so we're now working with the final facial animation character and control rig. What I'd like to show you is the basic principles behind this. What we have is a main head shape that we can now turn into our reference mode so that it's no longer selectable by the animator. We do this thing for the eyes and I'll now turn on my face controls. I can also disable joints so once again animators have no way of selecting anything but the controllers to modify this head. For this purpose it's very important as a character setup artist that you give the animators as much creative freedom as possible when creating your facial animation rigs. By locking out the joints you're going to have animators that are very unhappy if they're not able to modify the face as they like. So you should always have additional blend shapes available for custom sculpting if necessary, um, but always be prepared to make some additional changes. Let me go through a couple of these controls for you right now and show you just how they work. I have one very simple one, for example in the character's forehead. And this is just a slider for expression. This allows us to go from a scream to an angry. So once again we are able to achieve the of expressions with just one keyframe attribute. For the eyes I have set up individually. Worth just a very simple look at constraint and also have both of them bound to work simultaneously. This is just one of the different menus for eye controls. Everything with controls are always set to zero and freeze transformed before setting up the rig so that at any time if the animator needs to bring the face back to its complete default all they have to do is set zero to all of their keyframes and that will bring everything back. So further going through the different controls in this particular head the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid for blink additional expressions We have a pinching for the mouth to smile or a frown. We have a slider that allows us to go from a puckering of lip to widen of You don't have to have moving at the time. In this particular example, I've created that both at the same time and have those isolated individually. The most important one is actually the mouth control. The mouth control is driving many different blend shapes and attributes at the same time. The main one is a joint in the jaw that has been set up with set keys and that allows me to actually modify and move the jaw positions to push and take the jaw. I'm also able to bring it out and bring it in the character. I also have it locked out so that it will only allow the animator to go certain without breaking the character. And the final controller is the tongue control, which allows me to bring the out, tongue up, down. I can go side to side, and I can even include a twist. But once again, giving the edge control.
Again, the way a lot of these controls are set up very simple. We use the Set Driven Key menu, as I did earlier in the previous example, by simply selecting our controller, depending on the direction we want this control to go. For example, this particular controller is working in the Y translation, so you would select on the Y translate. You can scroll down the setting key to bring up your window. You then load this in as a driver. Select on your head and choose the blend shapes of that head for your driven and basically record at that point.